Islam is an Abrahamic religion founded in the Arabian Peninsula, while Sikhism is a Dharmic religion founded in the Indian subcontinent. Islam means, submission, to the will of God. The word Sikh is derived from a Sanskrit word meaning, disciple, or one who learns, both religions are monotheistic. Sufi Muslims and Sikhs believe that the one creator permeates the creation. Salafi Muslims on the other hand disagree. Sufi Muslims differ from Sikhs in that they believe that God manifests his attributes, namely the 99 names or attributes through his creation. According to Salafi Muslims, God's attributes are separate from his creation as he is only above his throne. Islam believes that Muhammad was the last prophet, to whom the Quran was revealed by God in the 7th century CE. Sikhism was founded in the 15th century CE by Guru Nanak and the Guru Granth Sahib as the scripture followed by Sikhs as the living guru. In Islam, the legal system based on the Quran and the Sunnah is known as Sharia. There is no such legal system mentioned in Guru Granth Sahib. Daily prayers are one of the pillars of Islam and is mandatory for eligible Muslims. Baptized Sikhs read the five banis prayers as part of their daily routine, nitname. Islam requires annual zakah alms giving by Muslims. Karat karna doing an honest livelihood, earning honestly without any sort of corruption, nam japna to chant and meditate on nam, read and follow the one, and van chako selfless service -E and sharing with others are fundamental to Sikhism given by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Pilgrimage to Mecca is a crucial part of Islam, while Sikhism denounces pilgrimages, circumcision and rituals. According to Guru Gobind Singh, the 10th Sikh Guru stated in his 52 Hukamnamas that a Sikh should undertake pilgrimages to Sikh Gurdwaras. There has been a history of constructive influence and conflict between Islam and Sikhism. The Sikh scripture Guru Granth Sahib includes teachings from Muslims, namely Saints Bhagat Farid, a Sufi Muslim of the Chishti Sufi order and Kabir. In contrast, of total ten Sikh gurus, two gurus, Guru Aryan and Guru Teg Bahadur, were tortured and executed for refusing to convert to Islam. Children of Guru Gobind Singh were killed, along with numerous other revered figures of Sikhism such as Banda Bahadur, Bhai Mahdi Das, Bhai Sati Das and Bhai Dayala, for refusing to convert to Islam, and for opposing the persecution of Sikhs and Hindus. Some sources contest such a historical rendition. Topic. Comparison Topic. Belief Topic. God Sikhism believes that God is formless It has been called a form of pantheism, as well as monotheism. God in the Nirgun aspect is without attributes, unmanifest, not seen, but all-pervading and permeating, omnipresent. God in the Sargon aspect is manifest has attributes, qualities, and seen in the whole creation. Ik Ankar there is only one God, he is the eternal truth, he is without fear, he is without hate, immortal, without form, beyond birth and death. Islam believes in one God with Muhammad as his last messenger. It denies other gods, and is strictly monotheistic tahid. This Islamic doctrine is a part of its shahada, say, he is Allah, the one and only, one Allah, the eternal, absolute, two he begetteth not, nor is he begotten, three and there is none like unto him, four Quran al Topic: <laughs> Guru and messengers Sikhism reveres Guru Nanak as the embodiment of the one divine creator Lord on earth which is manifest in the ten forms of the ten gurus of Sikhs. Sikhism accepts that there were divine messengers, including Krishna, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad in other religions. Islam believes that before Muhammad there were many messengers of God, Muhammad was the last messenger, and Quran was the last revelation to the last prophet. Topic. Duties, articles of faith The five pillars of Islam are duties incumbent on every Muslim. These duties are shahada testimony that there is no God but God and Muhammad is the Messenger of God. Salat prayers, zakat giving of alms, psalm fasting during Ramadan and hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. These five practices are essential to Sunni Islam. Shia Muslims subscribe to eight ritual practices which substantially overlap with the five pillars. The three duties of Sikhs are Nam Japna meditating on Waheguru's name, Karat Karni earn honest living and Van Chakna sharing one's earning with others. 
Baptized Sikhs, the Amritharis are belonging to the Khalsa Panth. They wear the five articles of faith, known as five Ks. 1. Kes, uncut hair and beard, 2. Kanga, a wooden comb, 3. Kara, a bracelet worn around the wrist, 4. Kirpan, a small dagger and 5. Kachara, a special underwear. The Khalsa Panth was created on Vaisakhi 1699 by the 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh. The baptized Sikhs have a set of seven Sikh prayers, called Nitname, which they practice on a daily basis, this is mandatory. Topic. Social beliefs Sikhism has an ambivalent attitude towards miracles and rejects any form of discrimination within and against other religions. Sikhism does not believe in rituals, but is permissive of traditions. Sikhism rejects asceticism and celibacy. The Sikhism founder Guru Nanak adopted the Indic ideas on rebirth, and taught the ideas of reincarnation. Adi Granth of Sikhism recognizes and includes spiritual wisdom from other religions. Islam warns against wrongful innovation to what is revealed in the Quran and the Hadiths. Islam considers itself to be a perfect and final religion. It warns against innovation to what is revealed in the Quran and the Hadiths. It considers other religions and non-believers in Islam as wrongly guided and infidels. Islam does not recognize and accept spiritual wisdom from other religions. Islam believes in miracles and a final judgment day Islam believes that there are severe punishments in the afterlife akira for those who do not submit to God, who refuse or reject Islamic teachings, calling them kafir and infidels. Sikhism does not preach or accept this view of those who are not Sikhs. Topic. Apostasy Apostasy, that is abandonment of Islam by a Muslim and conversion to another religion or atheism, is a religious crime in Islam punishable with death. According to the Hadiths, states John Esposito, leaving Islam is punishable by beheading, crucifixion or banishment. And Sharia Islamic legal code traditionally has required death by the sword for an adult sane male who voluntarily leaves Islam. However, adds Esposito, modern thinkers have argued against execution as penalty for apostasy from Islam by invoking Quranic verse 2 to 257. Sikhism allows freedom of conscience and choosing the own path. Topic: <laughs> View on other religions. Sikhism teaches that all religious traditions are valid, leading to the same Wahe Guru, and it rejects that any particular religion has a monopoly regarding absolute truth for all of humanity. Islam teaches that non Islamic religious traditions have been distorted by man to suit their desires. Topic. Predestination Islam believes in predestination, or divine preordainment al wa al God has full knowledge and control over all that occurs. According to Islamic tradition, all that has been decreed by God is written in al-la al-mafaz, the preserved tablet. Sikhism also believes in predestination, and what one does, speaks and hears is already preordained, and one has to simply follow the laid-down path per God's hukum. Topic. Grooming and dress The Khalsa Panth among Sikhs are guided by the five kilo seconds. They keep their head hair long and men wear turbans head hair cover. women may also wear a turban by their choice. They carry a wooden comb, wear an iron bracelet, wear a cotton underwear, and carry a kirpan Non-baptized Sikh women are free to dress as they wish in Sikhism. Sex segregation is not required in public places or Sikh temples by Sikhism. Muslim males are encouraged to grow their beards and trim the mustache. Men in some Muslim communities wear turban, head cap. Muslim men, as well as women, must dress modestly. For Muslim women, it is highly recommended to cover their hair. Muslim women are required to cover body in public, with some Islamic scholars stating that the Islamic hadiths require covering the face too. Islam encourages gender segregation in public, and Muslim men and women do not usually mix in public places such as mosques. These restrictions are part of ADAB. Topic. Circumcision 
Sikhism does not require circumcision of either males or females, and criticizes the practice. In Islam, no verse in the Quran supports male or female circumcision. Male circumcision is a widespread practice and considered mandatory for Muslim males according to Sunnah. Muslim scholars disagree whether any authentic Sunnah in the Hadith supports the practice of female circumcision. The IJMA, or consensus of Muslim scholars, varies by the Islamic jurisprudence on whether circumcision is optional, honorable or obligatory for Muslim male and females. Prominent Islamic scholars have both supported and opposed FGM.C for female Muslims. <laughs> Food Islam has Quranic restrictions on food, such as how the meat is prepared. Halal meat is required in Islam, prepared by ritual slaughter that involves cutting the jugular veins of the animal with a sharp knife. This leads to death, through bleeding, of the animal. Meat from animals that die of natural causes or accident is not allowed, unless necessary. Beef is a religiously acceptable food to Muslims, but pork and alcohol is not. Muslims fast for the month of Ramadan. Sikhs are prohibited from eating Islamic halal or Jewish kosher style meat because to them, this manner of obtaining meat involves a ritualistic component and a slow death of the animal. This is known as kutha meat. The official Sikh code of conduct Sikh Rihat Mariada only forbids the consumption of kutha meat and instead suggests jatka style of preparation. Charity meals distributed at a Sikh Gurudwara, called a langar, is only lacto-vegetarian. Some groups of Sikhism disagree with the consumption of meat altogether. In practice, some Sikhs eat meat, the majority of Sikhs avoid meat. Baptized Sikhs are strict lacto-vegetarians. <inaudible> Jizya Muslim rulers in history, compelled the payment of a special tax called Jizya from Dhimmi, those who refuse to convert to Islam but live in a Muslim state. Dhimmis were excluded from having to pay Islamic religious tax such as zakat and excluded from observing other Islamic religious obligations. Jizya was a tool of social stratification and treasury's revenue from non-Muslims. Jizya was a reminder of subordination of a non-Muslim under some Muslim rulers, and created a financial and political incentive to convert to Islam. Sikhism has never required a special tax for non-Sikhs. Topic. Holy sites The Golden Temple Sahib in Amritsar, India is not only a central religious place of the Sikhs, but also a symbol of human brotherhood and equality. The four entrances of this holy shrine from all four directions, signify that people belonging to every walk of life are equally welcome. The Golden Temple is a holy site for Sikhs and is welcome to people of any faith. Mecca in Saudi Arabia is the central religious place in Islam. Mecca is regarded as the holiest city in Islam, and a pilgrimage to it, known as the Hajj, is one of the pillars of Islam. Non-Muslims are prohibited from entering the city. Although in history, they've sometimes allowed non-Muslims to visit. Pilgrimagesikhs do not believe in pilgrimages. Muslims, in contrast, consider Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca a crucial part of the faith. History During the Mughal Empire, Sikh gurus were persecuted along with other non-Muslims. The fifth guru of Sikhs, Guru Aryan was executed by Jahangir. There were occasional exceptions to the historical persecution. During Mughal Emperor Akbar's rule, for example, Sikhism and diverse religions were temporarily accepted. Akbar visited the third Sikh guru, Guru Amardas at Goindwal, ate at the Langar kitchen, and offered donations for Langar. In other periods, Sikhs were persecuted during the Islamic rule of South Asia. Guru Aryan was tortured and executed by Mughal Emperor Jahangir. Guru Hargobind, sixth guru of the Sikhs, after the martyrdom of Guru Aryan saw that it would no longer be possible to protect the Sikh community without the aid of arms. He built a call to cut the throne of the immortal and it is the highest political institution of the Sikhs and he also wore two swords of Miri and Piri. Guru Teg Bahadur ninth guru was tortured and beheaded by Aurangzeb at Chandni Chowk in Delhi, for refusing to convert to Islam and for protecting Kashmiri Hindus who were being forced to convert to Islam. His fellow devotees Bhai Mahdi Das, Bhai Sati Das and Bhai Dayala were also tortured and executed, while Guru Teg Bahadur was forced to watch. 
Tenth Guru Guru Gobind Singh formed Khalsa known as Army of Akal Purak immortal and gave five kiloseconds to Khalsa. Two of the younger sons of Guru Gobind Singh aged nine and seven were bricked up alive by the Muslim governor Wazir Khan in Sarhind Punjab. When Guru Gobind Singh was in South India, he sent Banda Singh Bahadur to chastise the repressive Mughal Faiy Dar of Sirhind. Banda Singh captured Sirhind and laid the foundation of Sikh Empire. According to a popular myth, the Nawab of Malerkotla Sher Muhammad Khan, protested against the execution of Sahibzadas, after which Guru Gobind Singh blessed the state. This is considered as a reason by many historians due to which Malerkotla was the only city not harmed by Banda Singh Bahadur during his military campaign. The Muslims under Ranjit Singh of the Sikh Empire were mostly treated favorably and comprised the majority of the population of the empire. Ranjit Singh declared during his coronation that Muslims would be governed under Islamic law and appointed many of them in important official positions. The Muslim religious leadership and mosques continuously received state support under Sikh rule. This was in contrast with the Muslims of Kashmir Valley where Sikh rule was generally considered oppressive, protected perhaps by the remoteness of Kashmir from the capital of the Sikh Empire in Lahore. The region had passed from the control of the Durrani Empire of Afghanistan, and four centuries of Muslim rule under the Mughals and the Afghans, to the Sikhs under Ranjit Singh in 1819. As the Kashmiris had suffered under the Afghans, they initially welcomed the new Sikh rulers, however this perception later changed. The Sikh rulers of Kashmir enacted a number of anti-Muslim laws, which included handing out death sentences for cow slaughter, closing down the Jamia Masjid in Srinagar, and banning the Azan, the public Muslim call to prayer. Several European visitors who visited Kashmir during Sikh rule wrote of the abject poverty of the vast Muslim peasantry and of the exorbitant taxes under the Sikh rulers. High taxes, according to some contemporary accounts, had depopulated large tracts of the countryside. However, after a famine in 1832, the Sikhs reduced the land tax. Topic. Recent relations During the partition of India in 1947, there was much bloodshed between Sikhs and Muslims, there was mass migration of people from all walks of life to leave their homes and belongings and travel by foot across the new border, on trains and on land people were killed in what was felt to be revenge attacks. Millions of Sikhs left Pakistan and moved into India, while millions of Muslims left India and moved into Pakistan. Malerkotla was however not affected and was viewed as a safe haven for Muslims during the partition. The popular myth associated with it is that the town was not impacted because of Guru Gobind Singh blessing it after its Nawab protested against the execution of the Guru's sons. Since 9 11, Sikhs in America have endured hate crimes, denial of employment, bullying in schools and profiling in airports. In the UK, there have some instances of tension between Sikhs and Muslims on allegations that some Sikhs have been forced to convert to Islam. In 2009, the Taliban in Pakistan demanded that Sikhs in the region pay them the jizya poll tax levied by Muslims on non-Muslim minorities. In 2010 the Taliban, a terrorist group, attacked many minorities including Sikhs resulting in two beheadings. In April 2016, two Muslim teens bombed a gurdwara in the German city of Essen. The two teen converted fire extinguishers into an explosive device. The devices detonated after a wedding party had left for the reception. A Gurdwara priest was injured seriously, while two others were treated for minor injuries. The Gurdwara building was damaged severely. One of the teens was in deradicalization program. The two denied it was religiously motivated saying, just for the kick of building fireworks. However, before setting off the blast, the two 16-year-olds tried to break into the Sikh place of worship, North Rhine-Westphalia NRW. Topic: <inaudible> Sufi Muslims and Sikhs. In South Asia alone there are over 200 million Muslims who are followers of Sufi traditions, the most notable being the Barelvi movement. The Sikh gurus had cordial relations with many Muslim Sufi saints. In December 1588, a Sufi saint of Lahore, Mian Mir, visited Guru Aryan Dev at the initiation ceremony before the construction of the Harmandir Sahib Golden Temple. Topic: <laughs> Ahmadiyya Muslims and Sikhs. Ahmadiyya, a minority reform sect that arose within Islam, believe that a certain form of prophethood within Islam continues after Muhammad and consider themselves to be Muslims. 
They are, however, not recognized as Muslims by mainstream Sunni and Shia Islam, and are treated as blasphemous and persecuted. Since the 18th century, Sufis and ancestors of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, the founder of the Ahmadiyya movement, had cordial relations with Sikhs, and they fought with Sikhs to resist the persecution by Sunni-based Mughal rule in northwest region of South Asia. However, as Ranjit Singh established the Sikh empire, there were conflicts between the Sikhs and the Jagger of Ahmad's father. Topic see also Battle of Chamkor Conversion of non-Muslim places of worship into mosques Divisions of the world in Islam Islam and other religions Mughal Empire Hinduism and Sikhism Jainism and Sikhism Ganga Sagar Urn. Topic Notes Topic References Topic Further reading The Quran, University of Southern California Adi Grant, The Holy Scripture of the Sikhs, Ernest Trump, W. H. Allen & Co. Talib, Gurbakan Muslim League Attack on Sikhs and Hindus in the Punjab 1947. India, Shiromani Gurdwara Prabhandak Committee, Online 1 Online 2 M. W. Smith 1948, Synthesis and Other Processes in Sikhism, American Anthropologist, 50 3, pp. 457-462 Peter van der Veer 2002, Religion in South Asia, Annual Review of Anthropology, Vol. 31, pp. 173-187 Louis Fenwick 1997, Martyrdom and the Sikh Tradition, Journal of the American American Oriental Society, Vol. 117, No. 4 October Deck, 1997, pp. 623–642 Chopra, R. M. Article on Sikhism and Islam in Glory of Sikhism Published by SANBUN, New Delhi, OCLC 499896556, Glory of Sikhism at Google Books Topic. External links The Princely States, the Muslim League, and the Partition of India in 1947, Ian Copeland 1991. August Anarchy, the Partition Massacres in Punjab, 1947, Swarna Iyar 1995, Journal of South Asian Studies Victims, Heroes or Martyrs Partition and the Problem of Memorialization in Contemporary Sikh History, Paul Brass 2006. Information Center for Sikh Religion, Sikh History, Culture and Science